Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So the mission for this video is to turn this to about this. So I've got all of my stuff from my first bike tour, European bike to part one, laid out behind me right here. It goes all the way back there. It was about 40 kilos of gear. I think it was even more than that. Way too much, way, way, way too much. So today's mission is to filter out the items that I want to bring and just get rid of a lot of the items that I'm not going to bring and probably also a couple panniers. I, my mission is to leave with only three bags instead of one, two, three, four, five, six. I only want to leave with this one and those two. So I want to get rid of the front panniers and this big backpack. There are also some new items that I want to add. Those are behind me here. But first I want to get all of my old stuff. So all of this, I'm gonna go through all of it. I'm gonna do it rapid fire, real fast, real, real quick. I just wanna get rid of as much as I can, only leave with a minimum, and turn this noob setup into a more of a uh, intermediate setup. So all of the stuff that I'm not gonna bring, I'm gonna put on my bed. Uh, everything that I might bring, I'm gonna put here. I'm gonna leave in about two weeks, so there are still some items that aren't on the list right here. I also uh, already sold some items that I uh, brought on European Bike to Part 1. One of those items is the big solar panel. I sold that for about 50 bucks. I needed the money. I'm a little low on money, so that's why I did that. So I don't have that item anymore, as well as a couple other items, but I replaced some of them. So this is about what I had on European Bike to Part 1. So let's go. So we start at the start right here. These are my two rear panniers. I want to keep those. Mission is to only fill up these two and that one right there. So I want to get rid of these two. These front panniers. I really hope that I can pull this off. So I'll put those on the bed. Right there. As well as this big backpack. It was a good backpack. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. It was a little harsh um, where you carried it on your back. But for the rest, I mean, it was on my bike 90% of the time. And it carried my laptop and all of my electronics. It was a great thing. But I'm gonna get rid of it. Alright, next up we have my shoes. I'm actually gonna get rid of both of my shoes, both pairs. These are my clipless ones. So I had the clips right here. But I've decided to ride flat pedals. So I'm gonna get rid of these. And I also had these outdoor type of shoes. But I didn't like them. They, 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 they fit well, but they are a little harsh. And they weren't that expensive. They were from... Uh, Ketra from Decathlon, pretty cheap, so I'm gonna get rid of those as well. I've got some new shoes though. All right, I'm gonna keep my backpack. I've had this backpack since I was 12 years old. It's from Eastpack, great backpack. It's amazing, it can carry, it carried all of my school books. And this carried my shoes actually on my bike tour. But now I'm gonna use this one for my electronics, which have a few changes from this. But anyway, this is, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm also gonna keep my two notebooks. I actually thought of discarding one of the two, but, but I'm almost through this one, so I want to uh, keep both. And of course, I need a pen with that. All right, then we move up to the bike tools. So this is kind of new. I already filtered out everything that's in here. Maybe you can see that those are screws. I filtered out the screws that I needed for my bike. I had way too many screws. A lot of them I never needed because they weren't on my bike. They were from the Recumman bike, so that's good. I'm probably gonna leave this one at home because I don't need it. I can basically remove every screw with my allen key so i'm gonna keep that one but i can actually get rid of this one so i will this one i do want to keep this one is for my disc brakes to adjust them i, I can't really reach it with this one so i need an extra long one so i do have to keep that one my tire repair kit same bottle of lube it is it's green oil by bio, biodegradable so that's really good i got some tape for the bar tape these I bought in Norway, some extra disc brakes. I'm gonna bring those as well. Two spare tubes. I think I'm gonna need both, so I'll bring both. A little cloth for the chain and stuff like that. This used to be my lock. I am gonna bring this little lock. I found it pretty useful for zipping up the tent. Uh, just a little extra security, even though it doesn't really matter that much, but still I can use it. I have this lock right now. It's a small lock I bought, I think in Norway, because I lost my big one. I want to replace this one with my big one again, but I haven't bought that one yet. So I'm going to do that later this week, but I'm going to get rid of this one and get a new chain. Very, very strong, but still kind of lightweight uh, chain lock. All right, that's about it for bike tools. Let's go to the clothing section right now. These were all of the clothes that I brought. 
all of the uh, upper garments. I think this is about an inch thick of clothing and I'm gonna get rid of a lot of it. The first one I am gonna bring, this was my pajama shirt, used that for sleeping. I actually never wore this, it is lightweight, so I'm probably gonna keep this one, but I'm gonna get rid of another one, because this one, this one is very lightweight and very nice. I am gonna keep actually, uh, not this one, but the other one, here yeah, look. <laughs> I want to keep this one, because it's, it's so bright, it's so good, but I only need one of them, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I am gonna keep this upright bicycle. Traveling ties. Another sports shirt. I'm not gonna bring this one. This was my kind of fancy type shirt. It's uh, it's just a cotton shirt. I actually have a different one, so I'm not going to bring this thing. I am gonna bring this one, just a warm coat. And I'm basically gonna get rid of this thermo one and this fleece jacket because I'm not gonna be riding in any winter conditions anymore. And I hopefully won't need these, so those go away. All right, so from that big pile, we only have this left great all right next up my rain stuff i'm gonna keep my rain pants rain jacket lifesavers really really awesome this is just a sporting shorts i do want to get back into running so i adjusted some of the items to running items i think i only wore it like once or twice on my last trip but i do plan to wear this when running so i'm gonna keep that one uh, these are my cycling shorts i actually had another pair that I used on the second half of the white tour, but I think one is just enough. These are my uh, long pants. I really like these. I, I wear these actually at home as well, like a, lo a lot. So I really love these and I'm gonna bring those. I don't like these though. These are uh, kind of the same material, but they are zips. They got this zip line in the middle, so you can also wear them as shorts. But I don't really like them because they don't really fit me and they aren't as comfortable as this one. So I'm gonna... Get rid of that. These are my thermo pens. I don't need this anymore, so that goes away. I do need some scissors, so I'm gonna keep that. And I'm actually hesitating about this first aid kit because I never had to use it. I'm gonna put that on a maybe pile, which is over there, is the maybe pile. So then we get into the, this was more of a winter type uh, gear stuff. Most of it I don't need anymore. Especially this winter hat. I think I didn't even wear this thing because it didn't fit under my helmet. So uh, a hat. I'm probably going to br uh, bring this one little lightweight hat. Because I think sometimes it's going to be a little bit cold in the morning or in the evening. And I do like this thing. So I'm going to bring that. Uh, gloves. They are pretty run down. Pretty broken in the, in the fingertips. I'm not going to bring those. I might buy new ones uh, on the way. But not, not here. This is my winter scarf thing. Or it's, it's a neck warmer, really warm, but I don't need this anymore. My thick gloves, um, these were, especially here in Holland when I was doing my newspapers, these were lifesavers. It really was getting cold last winter, but now I don't wear them anymore. They're also pretty run down because of uh, the newspapers. I'm not gonna bring these. This is uh, a big bag, or kind of like an airbag for my sleeping uh, bag, which I am gonna bring, so I'm gonna bring this too. I also got this little one for dirty underwear, that kind of stuff that I still want to keep. Then we get into the socks. So I got two pairs of really warm socks that I used while sleeping. But I think I don't need these anymore. Maybe one pair. So I'm going to put one pair in the maybe. And this one I'll get rid of. And then we get to the sports socks. I think I have three pairs here. I think I'm going to keep two of them. Get rid of one pair. I'm just trying to shave things off here. Like, I, I think that with two, I still have enough. I'm gonna find a lot of place where I can wash my stuff. And I have some things that I can also wash without really impacting the environment. Well, I'll talk about that later. So my hat, I'm also gonna keep that one because I like that one. I didn't wear it that much when uh, I had my helmet on. But when I go for a run or something, I'm gonna use this thing. Then we have this big thing. Uh, there are actually some people questioning why I actually brought this. I was I was actually gonna use it for kind of like a seat or bench thing when I was sitting doing my cook stuff and I would sit on this and I think I only used that for that purpose once but it was also a good insulator so this would actually fold out like a big mat under my uh, thermores mat 
And it sometimes really saved my butt when I was uh, camping under a tree or something. This thing uh, helped make it a little bit easier. But it was especially good for isolating, like it has this uh, reflective material at the top. But I'm not gonna bring it because I got my Thermarest, which is even better. I'm gonna replace this one because that one has a tear in it. But I'm not going to bring this thing. All right, this is my tent material. So here are all the, the outer tents and the ground footprint, that kind of stuff. These are my poles and this is the inner tent. I'm gonna keep all of those. I like my tent. It's a one person tent though. It's not a two person tent. I would like to have the two person tent, but this one is okay. And if I have less, less stuff, then this one will be fine. This is my pillow. Uh, this one is not an inflatable one. This one just uh, folds out and then it just expands a little bit. I do like it, but it is a little a little thin it's not really that big but i'm gonna bring this because it's made in sweden and that's that's okay this is my liner for my sleeping bag i'm gonna bring this thing because it's it's for the hygiene and also when i'm in a hostel you know i'm gonna cycle through places like eastern europe that kind of stuff if you want to know more about where i cycle go to travelingties.com slash tour map i'll leave a link in the description and you can see exactly my planned route for um this bike tour my handlebar bag, absolutely love this thing. It's amazing, it locks up. It has quite a bit of space for my big DSLR camera. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna replace this one, but it will be exactly the same. So it's kind of like, I'm gonna keep this one. These are my glasses. I actually discovered these in my big pen years a few days ago, it was still in there. I never used it. These were for the times when my uh, lenses were not fitting during the night. I got night lenses after I think a few days or so I'm not wearing them my eye vision would go down and I would need this thing but it went fine so I don't I don't need this so I'm not gonna bring it then we get to my camp lights I love this thing it's great it's bright it has this mode which I don't understand but uh it's good all right then the cooking stuff so I got my cup I will bring my cup this is actually uh, a little it's, it's a flint and steel kind of thing it sparks i do like it i do want to go into survival a little bit more or just you know make some fire try to work with uh, with that so i am gonna bring this actually this is my uh, soap cleaning these things and i'm not gonna bring this anymore because i got a substitute for this uh, this is my lighter i got a big one because uh my camp stove which is right here it's quite underneath uh, where i have to put it put on the fire so i need this big thing instead of a small one so i'm thinking of bringing that then my sponges i think yeah i'll keep both i'm not going to bring my spice containers because i never filled them up these are still empty and i don't know why i brought those i'm also not going to bring these these i got from that guy in norway that was dealing in these fiber sticks and other stuff from forever living they're like health products i don't need them it's my little face cover thing i used it sometimes but i'll i'll uh, keep that thing and then i had some towels so i had two small towels one big towel and i think i only need one small towel so i'll just keep this small towel on this big one i have been doubting of bringing my cooking setup because these pants are so huge and i'm going through eastern europe right now so to get a meal is very cheap but i still like to cook anyway so so yeah the pans i got two normal pans and then one uh flat one so I don't know if I'm gonna cook on the trip. I still have to think about that one. Like my parents, they really liked it when I was cooking and it's it's very good for my money, for the budget. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm putting all this stuff in the, in the maybe section. So that's all going there. And my fuel bottle. All right. So next up we have my toiletries. Um, I'm not gonna bring this because I got some new stuff. I'll show it. It's over there in the in the new stuff so but i'm not gonna bring this uh this hair so i've got some other toiletries these are actually not all of the toiletries but yeah they're just toiletries so i'll just keep i'll, I'll keep that for sure <laughs> my camera bag for the dslr camera i like this thing it really fits well in the handlebar bag so i'm gonna keep that uh, i've got a new setup for this so i'm gonna get rid of both of these items i'll show you in a minute let me go this way this is my uh headlights i don't like really the setup because the batteries are at the back of your head and this thing is at the front you can't really steer it up or down anyway it works sun cream is gonna be there with me this is my sd card case so it has a few of my sd cards i need those for the videos so i am gonna bring that my knife i've got a new knife this one is from norway 
really expensive, but it's it's a little too small, so I bought a new one. And then we have my Gorilla Pod. I really it, it's a little flimsy and it's a little broken at the top so i don't see myself using this this is a cable that i do want to bring i didn't use it that often but i think i'm gonna try to practice with time lapses you can hook it up to your phone on one end and to the camera on the other and you can use that as a remote or to make time lapses so you can put in your phone it has an app with that goes with it and it shoots every like two seconds or something to make a time lapse i do like that these i actually never use these are filters so it has an nd filter and a gradient filter for my dslr camera my dslr camera is over there filming me but i am gonna bring that thing uh, i also brought this tripod now we're talking about the camera i also brought this tripod with me I'm gonna leave that tripod at home because I have a new setup for both this camera and also the camera I'm shooting with right now, which is the Canon G7X. This is my uh, vlog camera that I'm also gonna bring, of course. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, I do wanna get into photography and all that stuff, but I never use this and it's a little bit of a, of a weird setup. You know, you have these rings and then this has to go on the ring and then the, filter goes on top of that i might just get like a round filter that only fits on uh my lens because this yeah this I, I never used it because it's just a little hard to set up here we have some spare batteries i do still have some uh, electronical items that only work on batteries so i still need that my gopro i actually have a different camera from a different brand uh, this camera doesn't have a rear screen and I really like the rear screen on my other camera I'll show you in a minute. So I'm not gonna bring this one. I'll probably bring the other camera I mean the quality is is, is about the same and this is the GoPro Hero 3 plus so it's quite an old version anyways All right, so this is my drone. This is actually not my drone. This is the drone bag from uh, Tim We did a drone. Well, not a drone swap because he lost his drone uh, on this first day of the trip, we were cycling together in this area. He was in this area. He lost his drone, so I offered him my drone for the rest of his trip. He's gonna return back to the UK, I think one or two days before I leave for this bike tour. So I said, you know, you can use my drone for your trip. And if you uh, come back, then you can give it back to me. So this is actually his bag uh, without a drone. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find it, which really sucked, but yeah. But I am gonna bring my drone, so that's, that's still an item that I am gonna bring. Then here we have a case for my batteries. I'm still using that. A little adapter, a USB. I think I'm gonna replace this one with a universal adapter because I might travel to places that don't have this European one. And I do have a universal adapter right in that pile. Then we got my sunglasses. Of course, I'm gonna need that. This is for the GoPro, a uh, little case. I'm not gonna use that anymore. Uh, these, I had two extra lenses. This one, this camera right here is using a wide angle lens. And this one right here is the 50 millimeter lens. And this is a 18 to 135. So this is kind of like a versatile. I mean, I used this lens about 95% of the time. This one, 0% of the time. And this one, 5% of the time. So I've decided to only bring this lens with me and I'm gonna leave these ones at home. It really sucks that I didn't use. I do wanna get back into photography, but I also wanna, you know, travel with less weight. So I really, I can't take this one with me anymore. Like honestly, I think I only used it maybe once or twice. That little, that little, uh, little lens kind of sucks. But yeah, vi videos for me are, are still the most important. I can do most of my videos with the, uh, with the versatile lens. All right, then we get to this thing. This is my uh, chest mount for the GoPro or it, al it also fits the other camera, other action cameras. So I'm gonna bring this thing. Uh, this is the part where I went a little crazy on batteries. So these are all GoPro batteries. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these batteries and these are the batteries for my small camera i think four is enough i brought way too many too many batteries this is insane these batteries aren't great so i'm still gonna bring four so there's one in the camera right now and then these uh three but yeah i mean i think in total then i had eight that's not necessary i mean whenever you find power and i found power you know a lot of the times you just charge all of them up and you're good to go for another week with these four and then two weeks with these so i really didn't need all these batteries these batteries are actually quite good for the big dslr camera so i think i'm only gonna bring uh three two here and one in the camera itself so goodbye goodbye and goodbye
All right, I got some cables. Yeah, these are just, I'll, I'll sort my cables out later. I got some new chargers, so I'm not gonna bring these chargers. I got a new thing for this one as well. Well, now we get to the heavy stuff. So this is my big Power Oak power bank. It's a 50,000 milliamp power, power bank. It could charge my laptop. And I have to say, I didn't use it as much as I wanted to also for my laptop it didn't have the right adapter for my laptop or I, I lost it on the way so i couldn't use it for half of the of the trip and then the other half i had the little adapter and i didn't use it so like or i maybe used it once or twice when i had to now this laptop is old right now it's about five years old the battery is empty in about 15 minutes so i bought a new laptop and that thing has a six hour battery so i really I don't need this thing anymore. So that's 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 some good shaving. That's like two kilos worth of like heavy, heavy duty stuff. So that's good that we're getting rid of that thing. So we're also gonna get rid of the charger for that thing. And of course this thing as well. I don't need all these adapters. Here are some things I am gonna keep. These are my documents, passport, and these are for my vaccinations. I do want to bring that. This is, uh, I haven't yet used it, but a lot of people say they're lifesavers, especially when you go to cycle in Eastern Europe. So this thing is called a daze and its use is to scare dogs away. So when you press this button, a really high pitch sound is emitted from this thing right here. So if I turn this to a dog and I shoot at it, it should scare the dog away. I've never used it, but I'm probably gonna have to use this a couple times when I cycle through Eastern Europe. So that one will be uh, on the bike right at my hand, like somewhere right at my handlebars. My earphones, I think I went through three or four pairs of earphones. Um, I like these ones because one end is a little shorter than the other end as you can kind of see here You can see this is the left side and this is the right side So the right side is quite a bit uh, bigger and that's because this one goes around your head and it prevents that little uh, Thing in the middle below your below your head and I really like these then I have my e-reader I like my e-reader. I'm reading uh, the key to living the law of attraction I'm trying to read one book every month and I really really like this thing. It's really great L Lightweight and uh, I love the size too. My wallet. These are my old pedals I got those off of my bike with the clips. I'm not gonna bring these and I replace those with some new pedals. My helmet, of course I'm gonna use my helmet. My phone. So now we get to the laptop. I'm gonna replace this laptop. So this is the ASUS R505C and then the Core i7 Intel processor and a GeForce Nvidia card. It has been really, really good, but it is really time to go for this thing and this is the bag that came with it so i'm i'm gonna get rid of both then i have a copy of my passport i'm gonna use that this is my mouse i love working with a mouse so i really can get rid of this thing i love this thing my garmin of course i'm gonna keep that thing great for trekking uh, routes that kind of stuff three water bottles i bought new ones because uh in norway that guy had new water bottles for me from that brand but one of them broke and I really didn't want to bring the other two so I just bought the exact same ones as I had before I left the trip. Two cycling gloves, I like these. They're really great, they're really comfortable so I'm gonna bring these. This is a bungee cord, keeping things together. I think I'm gonna put this one in the maybe pile because I don't really need it for the two panniers. So yeah, I, I might bring it but Maybe not. And then the last item right here is my hard drive. This is a four terabyte hard drive and I'm gonna need this for my videos. So that's about it. Look at all those gaps. That's amazing, it's really good. But they're gonna be filled up with some of these items. Uh, not all of them because I see here is some foam. Um, I might need this for my new laptop because this laptop is quite expensive. And I plan to put this thing in this backpack and the backpack goes into one of the panniers. So I might have to foam it up a little bit with this uh, with this foam. But yeah, let's start at the start. So I use this, I actually use this for my cooking stuff. So I had like a, like a knife sharpener and some other things I never used in here. And I decided to make this my cable uh, management uh, bag. Because cables have always been a problem. I never could find the right cable. So if I all put them in the same place, then I think that's pretty good. And then we have my solar panel. So this is a new addition. It's the same brand, same brand as that huge solar panel. But this one, instead of having eight panels, 
It only has two panels. This can only charge my phone and Garmin. But when, when I travel, I'm not gonna be on my laptop that often. So if I can just charge my phone or Garmin, I can go for a week without needing to stop at a place. And I can still upload my videos when I just have to, uh, I upload them before I go. And then I just put them from private into public and then share them on Facebook, that kind of stuff. I can all do that in a couple of minutes on this thing. So then this thing can last for days, you know. I, th I think this is gonna be a good addition. So here's the new setup for both my small camera and my big camera. So I can use this as a monopod, but I can extend these legs. I got the idea from another YouTuber called Jio. He has kind of the same setup, I think. And you can put this down like this, it's really sturdy. And you can extend this thing like that. So yeah, this is this is really good. I really like this. It really works fantastic. So I am gonna bring this. I also have some new tools. So this one is used for getting the disc brakes out of its uh, little container. And I'm, I am gonna need these because I need to replace my disc brakes sometimes. Uh, luckily it's a small lightweight, so that's okay. Then I got this big thing. So I don't really remember why I needed this. Oh, no, I do. Um, this is for my pedals. So when I have to loosen my bike pedals, I might not need it right now, but I still want to carry it just so I know that I can get my pedals off of there easily. So this is for my podcast. I have a podcast series. You can go to my website, find them there. They're also on SoundCloud and this is what I use to record my podcast with. So it's a test cam DR 22 WL voice recorder. Really like it, it's lightweight, but it uses batteries, so I have to carry extra batteries to keep this thing functional. So this is a little setup that I use for my DSLR camera, and basically I can put my phone in this little holder, and put this on top of the camera, so I can use this thing kind of as a uh, auto cue. And I use that basically for my uh, videos where I talk about bicycle touring in a certain country, everything you need to know. I wanted to do another video at home for that series, but they take a lot of work to make. I have to write a script, that kind of stuff. I really do like using it. I like to do it with an auto cue because it's a little different than I'm used to. And I think it really works great. If you want to see uh, the video that I use this with, Bicycle Touring, everything you need to know, uh, Bicycle Touring the Netherlands. That's the first video that I made in that series. And I use this thing and I think you can't really notice that I was actually looking at this thing and not into the camera itself. There's that. Uh, this is also a little hub that I need in order for this thing to be attached to the hot shoe on top of the camera. So these are business cards. They're in a little case. I'm probably gonna get half of these and then another half of these and just bring one case. But these are my business cards. So yeah, whenever I meet someone, I've always had the problem to, you know, you know, you can go to my website, this, that kind of stuff. So I can just give them this card. I designed this one myself and I think it came out pretty cool. And this is my web development brand. So as you can see, Tysquo web developer. Uh, so if someone needs a website, please contact me because I'm also making websites. So that's gonna be the way that I want to make some extra money on the road, making websites for people uh, for money. And hopefully I can sustain myself a little bit using that as well. So I'm gonna bring that. Another tube of sunscreen. I'm probably gonna need it, so I'll bring that for sure. This is another addition for running. A little uh, phone holder, shoulder holder. Because sometimes I don't have the pockets to carry my phone in. This is a water filter. So I'm also gonna travel to countries that the water out of the tap is not drinkable anymore. I don't want to buy bottled uh, water because, you know, it creates a lot of plastic and it's just bad for the environment. So this is a very simple, easy to use, lightweight water filter. This is actually the filter itself. So this one screws on top of a bottle or on top of this little sack right here. And it can filter uh, any type of uh, sweet water from the tap, but also from just some uh, streams in nature. I can also use this setup that so that's that's really amazing i'm gonna talk about this more in another video for sure these are gonna be my utensils i used to have a fork and a spoon i actually forgot to put them in the in the pile but anyway so this is gonna be my new thing it's a spork yeah i just thought that this was gonna be a little bit easier to use you know you can, you can use this as a, as a spoon and as a fork 
I always found it a little bit hard to use both a fork and a spoon to clean and that kind of stuff. So if I just use this thing, I don't know, it, it made sense to me. So I'm going to bring this. So this is my new camera. It's the Icontax 4K Ultra HD uh, camera with a back screen. So if I turn it on, there you go. You got your screen in the back really like this camera i'm gonna do a promotion video for this company soon so yeah that's uh i really i really like this camera it also comes with a little remote so i can just say start recording and it will pick it up almost instantly i think or this is the record button oh there you go so i got three new items for uh the bike repair kits this is a spoke wrench uh haven't used this yet but a lot of people say that it is good to have when you get something with your spokes. This is a flathead screwdriver. It was not on my multi-tool uh, thing. And I have to use this to get uh, into the uh, bar and shifter. So I only have a flathead uh, screw in there. If I need to replace the cable or anything of that sort, I do need this thing. So it's small, so I can I can bring that. So this is a chain measurement tool. I don't know if I'm gonna bring this actually, because this is to measure the wear of your chain if it falls into the chain it's worn out i don't really know how that works it is lightweight though so i can bring this but i think i need to replace my chain now anyway so yeah this is a maybe thing i'll just throw it into the maybe there you go all right so we got that sorted all right so this is the soap i've been talking about so this is 18 purpose in one soap from dr bronner's i heard about this brand from some people uh, on youtube and you can use this for everything, toothpaste to uh, dishwashing, uh, hair, soap, everything. And the beautiful thing is, is that it's biodegradable. So I can just use this in nature, not have to worry about impacting the environment that bad. So yeah, I'm going to use this. I'm going to give this a shot. I'll tell you what I think of it after a few days of using this. But I'm looking forward to, uh, to using it. It does have a very strong smell though. I'm going I'm to give this a shot. This is my new knife. It's a little bit bigger. It looks like my old knife that I lost somewhere. So, uh, this is also a new thing that I bought very recently. It's a little lav mic. So I can put this on my coat. Uh, the sound quality is quite good. I've tested it out a couple times. I really like this thing. So I can also use this when I'm really far away from the camera and I still want good uh, audio quality. So yeah, I think I'm going to use this thing quite a bit. This is a little bike mount for the action cam. So this one just goes on the, on the steering wheel. And there's also a battery. This is the little travel adapter. So this one has pretty much every type of plug in it. So you've got Europe, I think that's UK, Australia, as well as the USA. And on the other side, it got all the internal things. And it also has USB. So you can, I can also use this as a USB adapter. Uh, earplugs, there were hostels where it was quite loudy during the night. So I am gonna bring these. They came with this thing. So these are bone conducting headphones. So I don't wear them in my ear, but around my ear. And this one directly goes into, you know, to your uh, inner ear where you hear stuff. I don't know really the science behind it, but I like these because I can listen to music, but I still hear my surroundings because it's not in my ear, but around it. I've used this um, ever since I bought this when cycling and also running. It's, I love it. It's really, really good. You have to get used to it in the beginning a little bit, but the sound is pretty good. And you still hear everything around you, which is really a plus, especially when cycling, you want to uh, focus on the surroundings and know what's going on. So this is a little mirror. Um, I'm going to go into the countries where cycling is not very, I mean, not the safest thing. I heard that the drivers there are maniacs, so I am going to need this probably just, just in case. So, so I can look behind me and I have a little bit more security with that. All right, these are some exercise uh, tension belts so I can do some exercises. I want to get back into good shape or at least spend some time trying to get into shape. So I bought these very lightweight uh, tension cables so I can use those for some exercises. I don't know, I haven't used them yet, but I'm probably gonna use those. All right, then the two big uh, new addition things. My shoes, these are actually trail run running shoes, so I've got really good traction at, at the bottom. I really like these shoes, I've worn them quite a bit, I've, all, uh, I've uh, done a run in them and cycled with them and I really like them. They're the Nike Zoom White Horse. I also really like the color because they match my, my headphones as well, so I really, I really like these shoes. So yeah, I'm only gonna bring one pair, one pair of shoes and that's it. So this is my new laptop. 
with the power cable. So in my last video, so in the last video I gave a little introduction of this. It's the Dell XPS 15. It was pretty expensive for me, um, but it got a very good processor. Also very good graphics card. I've edited a few videos on this. Amazing, like the quality is so good. I love the screen, it's very bright and it's very detailed. And this is gonna be my main workstation for the trip. So yeah, that basically concludes my new setup. Now it's time to put them all into my two uh, panniers and that little one right there. Fingers crossed, I really hope it's gonna fit. I forgot to show the underwear. I have three pairs. I'm gonna bring two pairs or three, probably three. All right, so I tried to fit as much as I could. This one is pretty much down, has all of my tent gear, sleeping bag, some of my clothes and stuff in there. Got some stuff there as well. This one is full, a little bit too full. Um, it also has my laptop in that backpack that I showed my school bag. What I've been thinking is maybe, I think the best thing I could do is actually take an extra bag and it's probably not gonna be my school bag but a little bit more of a harder material and put it on top of that rack so I can also take it off whenever I go somewhere because that has all of my electronics in it. I actually know someone that has kind of the same setup so I might ask him like what backpack he uses for that because this is not gonna fit and I've not even uh, covered the maybe pile so I still have those pans and pots and that kind of stuff which I don't know if I'm gonna bring but if I take the uh, school bag out of here then it's it fits then everything is, is is pretty good to go so I'm gonna look into that other than that I'll show you everything that I cut out and that is all of this that is a huge amount of stuff so this is probably I think about 10 to 15 kilos just clothing and shoes and laptop which is now being used a little bit because my other one is is deep in the in the pen here but yeah this is all gonna stay here so yeah that's it hey guys this is a little update this is a few days later than the last shot where i just picked out all of the things based on the results of that uh setup it just didn't quite fit perfectly i bought this bag it's a thule it's really really nice i really like it uh very very uh strong material it's gonna sit on top of the rack and it's gonna have all of my electronics in it so i can bring it with me very very easily and i also bought a laptop sleeve uh for my laptop to put into this bag so i don't think that that uh, laptop is gonna break in there and then one more addition that i bought is i decided to still bring the stove and all of the cooking utensils all of that kind of stuff but not the pans and i actually got a alternative to the pans i bought this thing which is just a long kind of like pan thing i don't know what you call this stainless steel almost went for an aluminum one but aluminum is not very good for your health do some research on that if you plan to buy your own camp uh pots and pans and that kind of stuff so i got this uh stainless steel a uh, little pan it's it's super super small and i think i can stuff quite a bit of uh stuff for like utensils and that kind of stuff in this so i am going to bring the stove with this and that but the thing is i've not tried to put all this setup on my bike i'll leave that one for the next video so stay tuned kind of like a cliffhanger but i think this video is already going for way too long so thank you guys so much for watching Please give it a like if you did. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.